Good afternoon, Jeremy and Rochelle. I'm over at Rangers Gate. Great neighborhood, I know this neighborhood well. Lots of recent flips and renovations and sales over here, right in the heart of the Pope District. In fact, pretty much walking distance to Pope High School. So great investment price point for the future. Most of the homes in this neighborhood have already been renovated or have longtime owners in place. This home has been partially renovated. The outside was painted probably within the last three to five years. It's in excellent condition, but there's some trim work that needs to happen. It's Georgia, we get moisture. As you can see, there's a little pine tree growing from the sill. And I can't tell if that's on purpose, if there's a planter up there or if that's a rotten sill, but those kind of things, punch list items, easy to fix. It's got a massive front yard, has a lot of privacy. Personally, I'd remove some of these trees, even a couple of these maples, just to open it up, allow you to get some more lush green grass here, brighten up the house quite a bit. I do love this tree, but it is right up on the house. This actually looks like a wax leaf hedge that has grown into a tree over the years. Like I said, it is right up on the house and could allow critters into the attic. So this is one I'd move, this privet I'd probably take out and doing so will really brighten up this house. Front staircase, pretty good condition. Most of the exterior looks good, roof looks good. And there's a couple little punch list things, but that's why we have an inspection because this house has been on and off the market several times. And I have a feeling a couple of things that are finding on inspection here. Let's go take a look inside. So we come in through the front door, you'll see there's a couple different varieties of hardwoods throughout, but they are staying to treat, uh, staying to look similar. This hardwood was probably added later. This was probably either a tile or a linoleum entryway at one time. The red oaks are probably original to the home. Now, most of the home, let's see, there's not a lot of light in here. Sorry, they, there's no bulbs in the fans, I don't believe. No. Um, so not a lot of light in this room, as you can see, and they've got the blinds closed. Again, we're opening trees, would re or removing some trees would really help brighten this room quite a bit. But you can see a lot of space, massive family room, vaulted ceilings, and then opens up here to a dining and breakfast area. With the kitchen. Now the kitchen was updated at some point. I do love the bar stool seating. You could actually add a little breakfast area here, put some cushions there, really utilize the space. Or you could eventually expand this kitchen, even take down some of these walls to really open it up to the family room. So you got a lot of options here. The kitchen does have a little bit dated cabinetry in terms of the doors. They did update the paint color, as you can see. An easy way to give it a further update is get some shaker style doors. Install right over these wood cabinets. You've got stainless steel appliances in place. You've got a nice granite countertop in place. Great thing about this granite, this particular variety of granite is sourced right here in Ball Ground in Cherokee County. And so if you ever wanted to extend or expand, be very easy to match this granite. Lots of windows, so again, removing some of these trees really brighten up this area. I'm gonna take you outside off of the living area to the screen and porch. Now, screen and porch is going to need some work. You've got some rotten wood boards. The stairs are rickety. Honestly, to me, they're a complete teardown. Not the end of the world. Not super expensive. But you got a lot of space. Now, this secondary deck over here 
is in really good condition. So we go out this side of the screened in porch and we've got a flat deck in really good condition. Does look like it needs to be sanded and sealed, pressure washed, sanded and sealed. As you can see, you've got the beginnings of a nice yard here. Needs a little bit of work. Fence is gonna need some punch list items. So definitely some things that need to happen here, but really good palette to begin to start with. So let's go back in. Now there's this interesting little alcove. You've got these doors here, partial doors. And then you've got this open space here on the deck that goes out. Guess you could use this as a grilling deck. I don't love grilling this close to the house. Not really sure what this is. I mean, I'd probably put, keep the gutters in place, put some dry roofing on here, run another gutter out this screen here and cover this and make this covered space. Uh, I guess you could also use it for some plants that need some sun and put them out in the rain. But interesting use of the space. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can get a better view. Sorry about that. So back into the family room and we're gonna go upstairs first before we go to the basement. So upstairs, we'll find three bedrooms. Okay, four. Stairs, are, by the way, are in really good shape. So far, the main level, the floors are, are level. Yeah, they could use refinishing, but they're not super worn. And again, perfectly level down there. Family bathroom, it's a redo. The tile's dirty, it's cracked. The tub is old, it's an old surround. You've got an old, not in good shape, uh, vanity with an old style light. I would redo every inch of this bathroom, including putting corner inch sheetrock right over the ceiling. But you've got a lot of good space in there. To the right, we've got bedroom number one. Good sized bedroom, about 13 by 13. Looks out over the back window, or over the backyard, and a reaching closet. Room two, little bit smaller, not terribly small. Good heart, again, hardwoods in here in good condition. And then we come over to the master. Now the master suite is massive. It's a really good size master. It's got a walkout deck. I wanna point out one thing here in the master. Uh, I'll show you here in just a little bit, but you have a reach-in closet here. Good size reach-in closet. And then you've got another closet over here. Which is a pretty good size closet. I'm gonna put the phone down towards the floor to show you the floor in the bathroom. Let me fix that. I'm not sure if you could see the slope over there. This is the one place in the house where I find the floors uneven. And I think, having looked at it from the outside, I think this is the way that someone did some construction in here because I could see some patchwork with the red oak and the vanity. So I think someone did some reconstruction and created this slope not knowing what they were doing, that it's not a foundation or a settlement issue. In the master tub uh, shower insert, tub insert. What I would do here I would actually wall this off. I would gut the bathroom eventually, build a nice shower where the shower and toilet are now, take out the tub and build a water closet there, and then use the additional space to extend your vanity and put a double vanity there. Plenty of room to do that and to create a door. 
Interesting, got a screened in door here as we go out onto the deck. But you've got a good size walkout deck from your master. Again, I get this Leland. I love Leland cypresses. They create privacy. They're beautiful trees, but it is right up on the house. And it is an invitation for critters to get inside. Let's go down to the basement. And you can see they carried the wood finish down to the basement with them and then tiled the floor down here. Looks like they had some office space built in here. Little TV hutch. Good size space though. Lots of room here. Could be a media room, could be an office. You also have a secondary room back here, which they are calling a bedroom. Does have an egress, has direct access to the outside. Put a little desk over there, put a bed over there. Great guest bedroom down here. Now it does not currently have a shower. It only has a tub with a sprayer, but easily fixable. In fact, you have water lines and drain lines right above you. You could run a waterfall shower head through the ceiling very easily here. Put some doors or a curtain up and then you've got a regular shower in here. Laundry area with folding area, lots of storage. and then into the garage. Now the garage has just a ton of space in it. I mean, you could see the depth. You probably got 20 feet from where I'm standing from this wall to the garage doors on each side. Good, not a ton of height, but good, good clearance here. You could get an SUV very simply on the left side. You could get a smaller SUV uh, onto the right side. Water heater is nine years old. These reams are, these are the newer style reams. 2014 was the first year they went to this style ream. This is the first generation of the style. Have not seen a lot of problems with them yet. We haven't seen a lot of them get pulled out. So, so far so good. My, my guess is you've got anywhere from six to 10 years left in the water heater. HVAC, not as lucky is older the coils are 22 years old i can't find a date on the furnace but my bet is based on a visual inspection and the coils it's around the same age we'll go look at the compressor here in just a little bit there's some staining on the wall to be honest i cannot tell if that is moisture my moisture meter is reading zero on it so it could be old it could be dirt stains from whatever they were doing in this garage previously, but the, I put my moisture meter on it and it does not show any moisture level. Now let's head to the backyard here. Again, all of my foundation inspection, at least visually has been pretty good. There's your compressor unit over there. I pulled the dates on this uh, a little while ago. It is not as old as the HVAC, but it is getting some age on it. It's a four ton unit. I just replaced a four ton at my house, compressor only with my guy, it was $3,700. They've gone up a little bit since then, but you can replace a compressor for around 4,000 on a four ton unit. But based on the age of the furnace and the coils, I would say that would be something that I would inspect it, make sure it's running efficiently, and first sign of trouble, be prepared to change them out completely.